Tennessee Williams once told us, there comes a time when you look into the mirror and you realize that what you see is all you'll ever be. And then you accept it, or you kill yourself, <laughs> or you stop looking in mirrors. <laughs> and speaking of mirrors, someone else once said, if we spend too much time scrutinizing what's in our rearview mirror, we're certain to crash into a light post for how all of us can find genuine self-awareness. What is this thing we call self-awareness anyway? It's the ability to see ourselves clearly, to understand who we are, how others see us, and how we fit into the world. Self-awareness gives us power. We might not always like what we see, but there's a comfort in knowing ourselves. And there's actually a ton of research showing that people who are self-aware are more fulfilled. They have stronger relationships. They're more creative. They're more confident and better communicators. They're less likely to lie, cheat, and steal. They perform better at work and are more promotable. And they're more effective leaders with more profitable companies. In the world of self-awareness, there are two types of people. Those who think they're self-aware, <laughs> and those who actually are. It's true. My team has found that 95% of people think they're self-aware, but the real number is closer to 10 to 15%. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> it means that on a good day, on a good day, 80% of us are lying to ourselves <laughs> about whether we're lying to ourselves. Pretty scary, right? People who introspected were more stressed and depressed, less satisfied with their jobs and their relationships, less in control of their lives. Self-analysis can trap us in a mental hell of our own making. Introspection may be depressing, but it's worth it because of the insight it produces. Here's the surprising reality. Thinking about ourselves isn't related to knowing ourselves. Researchers have found that no matter how hard we try, we can't excavate our unconscious thoughts, feelings, and motives. And because so much is hidden from our conscious awareness, we end up inventing answers that feel true but are often very wrong. To start, we just need to change one simple word. Change why to what. Why questions trap us in that rearview mirror. What questions move us forward to our future. As human beings, we are blessed with the ability to understand who we are, what we want to contribute, and the kind of life we want to lead. One of the best quotes I've ever heard on this subject is from Rumi. He said, yesterday, I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today, I'm wise, so I'm changing myself. Thank you very much.